Hey guys, so uh, my first video since I came back from vacation. Uh, we came back yesterday, last night, my wife and I and my kids, uh, my grown kids. We are on vacation, we we're in, in Jamaica for a week. You know, we've been blessed to be, to have been able to spend this, this time in such a beautiful country. Um, the weather was perfect. As always, we always are blessed with great weather when we go on vacation and we had a nice time we had a really nice time um it's always good to spend time together with the family um so but now we're back to the grind uh i just got back yesterday and um today just taking a day off and you know we always need time off from our vacation before uh we get back to work um so what i want to talk about i just want to make this real quick and it's going to be a short video I can guarantee you it's going to be a short video because I'm running out of storage space on my phone. I got to go through all the pictures we took and I got to delete the ones that are, you know, we don't want to keep. So, um, I was texting a friend of mine. I just want to share two things with you guys real quick. I was texting a friend of mine. She was asking how my vacation went and this and that. So I was telling her, I was like, wow. It's like, I remember, um, how 50 days in, I believe it was 50 days to our vacation. I, we have a whiteboard in my uh, an erasable board in my kitchen and I put 50 days Jamaica and you know I was counting down every day we change it and my son said dad you need to stop that you need to stop because it's just gonna drag it on it's gonna make it seem like it's longer it's you know it doesn't get here and, and, and we're not gonna get here um, you know it's gonna be a while uh, but then our day for our vacation came we got on a plane we went and before you know it, we were back on a plane <laughs> It flew. I mean, when you're there, it seems like it takes, you know, you've been there for a while. But now, in retrospect, I look back and it just flew. It goes so quick. So why do I want to share this with you guys? Um, I know that many Christians nowadays are, and I know what's supposed to look, be looking for Jesus' return and, and for the rapture. For those of us who do believe in a rapture, what we're, we're supposed to be looking for, we're supposed to be watchmen and watching all the things that go on in the world and how it so clearly tells us in, uh, in the Bible of all these things that are happening and will happen. But if we spend so much time just looking at that calendar as we were, as my son and I were at home, looking at that calendar, it seems like it's the anticipation grows to a point where, you know, we just get frustrated. And, and, and so we just need to let things happen in this natural course. We need, we need to let things happen in the order that God has placed it in regards to, um, you know, our spiritual life in regards to, being home with the Lord in regards to him returning. We need to allow the Lord to work in his perfect timing. And that day will come. That day will come when the Lord calls us home, whether through physical death or whether through a rapture, because we don't know when it's going to happen. So while we're doing that, while we're waiting, okay, I posted a video about two, three weeks ago on what, what it means to wait. While we're waiting for the Lord, we are also to be busy. We are to be sharing the gospel with those who don't know the Lord. We are to be also enjoying the life that the Lord has given us. I know that some of you out there are struggling and going through some hard times, but you're also to enjoy the life that the Lord has given you. Yeah, maybe you haven't been blessed at a point where, let's say I've been, where we're able to enjoy the best things of life. You know, we've been blessed. Um, my wife says it's because we work so hard. Well, I say because we've been blessed so much. But maybe you haven't been blessed to go on vacation to another country for weeks or, you know, to hire a brand new car or a house or home. But there's always blessings, okay? Just, and as I say, just waking up in the morning and taking that breath of air into your lungs okay that's a blessing in itself just waking up and just being able to spend time with the lord it's a blessing in itself being able to have a bible whether a physical bible which you should have at least one or even an app even a bible app just being able to spend time with the lord and learn about the lord and pray and commune with the lord that's a blessing in itself and we to, to enjoy also the small things in lives you know, you might not be able, like I said, you might not be able to go to a far destination, but I'm pretty sure there's a local park that you could take a nice walk on a nice cool day. You can just sit back and enjoy the creation of God. You know, the animals and just the trees and just the mountains, if you're by mountains, wherever you are, even if you're in a city like me, 
there are places you can go and just enjoy the life that the Lord has given you. Um, you know, don't hurry the Lord. Don't hurry the Lord because he's not slack and he'll come in his perfect timing. So, you know, erase that board. Erase those days that you have marked on your board, uh, you know, your, your spiritual board. Just erase them and just say, Lord, you come when you come. You come when you come. You, you, you'll come when you know the timing is right, when it's perfect. So I pray that you just leave it all in the Lord's hands and enjoy the life you have. Um, there's enough crazy things out there going on in this world that'll beat you up. We don't need to beat ourselves up with, with the anxiety that can get built up with, oh, the Lord didn't come, you know, this season or that season, whatever. Just trust in the Lord. Um, I was going to do a video on one of the Psalms that I read while, while I was on vacation. I'll do that in my next one because, like I said, I'm going to run out of room with my phone. But it was a beautiful Psalm, and I love how the Lord speaks to us. And He spoke to me through this Psalm, and it's a short Psalm. He spoke to me through this Psalm in a way that He hasn't spoken to me yet. And I thank Him for that. And, you know, I thank Him for the ability to have the Word of God with me while on vacation and spend time with Him. Because we might go on vacation from our jobs, from our homes, but we never go on vacation from the Lord. He's always with us. He's an ever-present help, and He's always watching over us and protecting us. So spend time with the Lord always, guys. Um, and the other thing I wanted to share is, like, I just came out of the supermarket, and I don't know how people are doing it. I, I, I just had two bags of groceries, two small bags of groceries, and it was $100, $110 to be exact. I almost collapsed. I'm like, I mean, I thank God that it doesn't impact, you know, something like this doesn't impact me right now that much. But I know there are a lot of people out there who are being impacted, who are hurting, you know, with the prices and everything, how everything is going up. And it's going to get to the point where it's going to be really, really hard for people to even get a meal. I mean, I know it's like that around the world, but I mean, just even in the, in the, in the Western world. So um, I know that the Lord is coming soon. I know that the Lord is coming soon. So anyway, God bless you, my friends, and I hope you have a nice day.